guys welcome back okay so lately I've kind of had the urge to check out some palettes from Amazon like a lot of times I'm kind of shopping on Amazon looking around trying to see what's going on and I'll come across all these different palettes from these you know unknown brands no name brands or brands that I've never heard of but the palettes look really vibrant bright nice pigmented and typically they're pretty affordable you know ranging anywhere from like 10 bucks to 14 bucks and I just kind of got the urge to order a bunch of Amazon palettes and try them out for you guys it's probably because I've been doing all these declutters <laughs> and you know just the palette lover in me is like okay I want to see some new palettes so anyways basically what i'm saying is i bought you know a, a few palettes from amazon and wanted to just have a quick little swatch party with you guys we can kind of look at these palettes together swatch a few of the shadows i'm not gonna swatch the whole palettes because some of them are pretty large but just swatch a few of the shadows kind of see how they swatch kind of guess and try and get a feel for how they might perform and then i'm thinking about possibly doing like a week long of amazon palettes or a week of affordable palettes um testing them out playing with them doing looks and you know just kind of giving you guys some options for some inexpensive or you know cheaper palettes from amazon that might actually work so with all that being said, let's just jump right in because like I said, I really just want to look at these with you guys, show them to you, and then just swatch a few of the shadows, okay? So that's what we're doing today. This first one is called, <sighs> let me get my glasses, Lord have mercy. Okay, so this first one is called Eye Magic Professional Cosmetics 16 Color Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. It kind of has like a rose gold foiled type um, packaging. So it's really pretty. It's kind of hard to show, you know, without canceling out the camera. But really, really pretty packaging. Now, I actually bought this palette quite a while ago, quite a while ago, and just never used it. I've looked at it several times, especially during the fall because the colors in this palette are very very fall appropriate okay you guys look at these colors aren't they pretty absolutely gorgeous okay so so pretty and like i said and it, there's a mirror in here too but i bought this palette a long time ago and just never used it so i'm sure there's some reviews on the tube for this palette but i kind of want to check it out myself so let me go ahead and swatch a few of these so we can see kind of how it performs. I'll swatch the shimmers first. Oh, okay. Hello. You guys see those? Those are really, really pretty and nicely pigmented. Beautiful fall shimmer shadows. Hello. Let me swatch a few of these mattes. <laughs> okay, so those are not bad at all. Those are not bad at all. I don't know if I already said, but this palette right now is on Amazon for $7.89. And I will put links down below for these palettes. I do have um, like an affiliate link for Amazon. So if you ever purchase something from my Amazon link, I do get a small kickback <laughs> for whatever it is, you know, that you purchase. But just so you guys know that, but I will put links for these palettes down below, whether they're good or whether, you know, they're trash. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh. Okay. So this palette right here has a lot of potential in my opinion a lot of potential okay you guys so let's move on to this next palette now this next palette is really cute this is the you can be back to school 16 color eyeshadow palette this is what the packaging looks like so it kind of looks like a green chalkboard very very cute 
And this palette retails for $11.99. So she has a mirror inside as well. And these are the shadows in this palette. So to me, this is a very unique looking palette. It's kind of an eclectic type style. It's not for someone who likes palettes that are really cohesive and easy to use. This palette looks to me like it's for someone who's kind of daring or likes to try different colors together or maybe an accent palette. So let me do some swatches. I'm really curious about how this is gonna swatch. And this one has, you see that chunky glitter in there? I don't think I would use that because that glitter is extremely chunky. It has like little hearts, little heart shapes in there. It's probably really cute, but I don't know if I would use it. So let me swatch some of these shimmers and just see what's happening. Okay, so those are some of the shimmers. As you can see, that second one is like a duochrome. Really pretty dual chrome shift. Okay, so those are a few more shimmers. A couple of those really don't look very pro promising to me. The blue is just okay, a little lackluster. That green is really pretty though. So right now I'm just kind of feeling that duo chrome type shade and maybe the green. So not too, too impressive swatching the shimmers. Let's swatch a few of the mattes. Okay, so that is the red, the green, and the purple. Very, very weak swatches. I am not feeling those at all. <laughs> not at all. So if I had to go off of just swatches, I'd be like, mm, y'all can pass, okay? But you never know, it might create a bomb eye look. Let me swatch this yellow right quick. Okay, so this is the yellow matte. Okay, so there's a little bit of pigment there. Nothing to write home about. So yeah, this palette here, <laughs> this might be one of the last palettes that I actually use because I'm not enthused at all. Okay, next I have another palette that I actually purchased a while ago as well and never used. This one is the Changeable Fantasy Palette. Really, really cute packaging. Now, this is a dupe palette for the James Charles. <laughs> it is um, kind of like a baby James Charles palette. And let's see here. This palette is retailing for $14.99 right now, which is really funny because, you know, James Charles came out with his own baby palette. Okay, I think it's probably even smaller than this. But yeah, so... That is what this is supposed to be. So I'll just swatch a couple of shadows from here since most of us are familiar with this palette. Okay, so those swatches actually aren't too bad. Very nicely pigmented. Not too bad at all. Let's swatch a few more. <laughs> The only thing I don't like right now trying to swatch is the fact that these circles are so tiny. I can barely get my fat fingers in there to swatch them. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Those swatches are giving me promise. <laughs> Nicely pigmented. I definitely feel like that's something I can work with. I'll just do a couple mattes as well. Get a little bit more of that burgundy. Okay, so the mattes aren't swatching as nice or as deeply to me as the shimmers, but they have a little bit of potential as well. They're not as bad as that last palette. So let's take a quick look at some of the brighter shades. Let me get one more swatch of that pink. Okay, so that's not too bad, actually, for those to be brighter shadows. They actually are swatching halfway decent. So, yeah, not too bad. 
Okay, so next, this palette is really, really cute. This is the You Can Be Fruit Pie Filling Palette. <laughs> Look at this packaging. It's so cute. It has like little, you know, pieces of fruit all over it. Very colorful, very playful, cute packaging. And for the most part, these palettes do have like sleeves that go along with them. I'm just not in the mood to be taking them out <laughs> during this video. So I've already taken them out of the sleeve. So these palettes do have matching sleeves that go along with them. Okay, so let's take a look at this palette. There is a nice big mirror in here. And these are the shadows for this palette. You guys see how pretty she is? She is gorgeous. So, so pretty. And this palette right now retails for $13.99. So not too bad. How many shadows? 30 shadows. Okay. So let's just swatch a few. I'm going to start off with some of the shimmers. Yo. Okay. So those shimmers have some pigment. Oh. That's so pretty. The second to the last one, really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, and that blue is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, these shimmers definitely are giving me some potential here for this palette. <laughs> Let's swatch a few mattes. Okay, those aren't too bad. Those are not too bad. Not for an Amazon palette. <laughs> They're not amazing, but they definitely look like something I could work with. So this palette is looking like it has some nice potential, you guys. Very, very pretty, colorful, bright palette. Look at the swatches. Not bad. Okay, so next I have here the Delancey Little Prince and Rose. And this is what this packaging looks like. So pretty. It's pink with these beautiful little rose petals all over the cover. Very, very cute. So this right now is on Amazon for $14.99. And I know Delancey has their own website. So, you know, you might want to check there and see if it's on sale or something right now. But yeah, on Amazon, it's $14.99. So there is a mirror in here as well. And this is what she looks like. Very pretty, beautiful neutral tones in there. Some greens and pinks and reds. Some nice dark, deep colors down here. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to swatch this. So let me start with some shimmers. And this one has 25 shadows. Ooh, this white, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Probably not, you can just see my fingerprint, but this white is like a duochrome. If you look at it in person, it's like a white with a purple shift. Ah, oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see it when I swatch it though. I picked up too much of it. Yeah, you can't really see it, but yeah, it has a really pretty purple shift to it. Oh, that sucks. I wish you guys could see it. Uh, yeah, you still can't see it, but I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. So those are some more of the shimmers. Very, very pretty. The shimmers in this palette remind me of like Easter. Whenever I see pastel shades like that, it makes me think of Easter, but they're so, so pretty. Okay, so let's just do a few mattes so we can see what's happening. A little powdery, but definitely pigmentation. Yeah. Not too bad. That pink is really, really bright. Wow.
Yeah, that blue is nice. That green is not as nicely pigmented, but I can work with that. <laughs> so yeah, this palette definitely has some potential. Not bad. Okay, next. So I have the Reversal Planet Palette by Beauty Glazed. <laughs> and this is what the packaging looks like. Very interesting name. But nice cardboard, very sleek cardboard packaging. This is what it looks like on the back. And this palette is retailing for $13.88. There is no mirror in this palette. Up here, it just says Beauty Glazed Reversal Planet. And, and these are the colors in this palette. I don't know why when I look at this palette, it makes me think of the ColourPop Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. Um, I, have, I haven't done a video on that. I used it once and I don't know. It's something about that So Jaded palette that just... It has me so jaded. <laughs> it's just I'm just not moved to use it, but let me let me compare this to that. So this is the ColourPop So Jaded Kathleen Lights palette, and I don't know, maybe it's just somewhat kind of similar, but oh, maybe it's because of the background. Yeah, I think it has to do with the background being the same. You know, but they still look very, very similar. I wonder, were they trying to dupe that palette? I mean, there's a lot more shadows in here. This shadow, this palette has 40 shadows and hers only has, what, 25? But mm, they looking kind of similar to me. Okay, is it just me? You guys let me know. Is it just me? Or does it look like there's some similarities going on here? And you guys might already know. Yeah, that's a dupe, KK. Honey, I don't know. All I know is looking at it, it looks a little similar. Not 100%, of course. But it gives me the same vibe, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, this Beauty Glaze palette, like I said, is $13.88. And I don't know. I think this... Kathleen Lights palette is like $35 or something. Yeah, it's not cheap. So anyways, let me get some swatches of this beauty glaze. There's a lot of pressed glitter in here, okay? And I'm just now realizing that's probably why it's so pretty. Like there's one, two, three, four pressed glitters in here. Let me swatch those. They are pretty, but if you don't like glitter, you know. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Hello. Oh, wait. Dang, y'all probably can't see that. I'm going to have to turn the lights down. Okay, so that is a better idea of what the glitters look like. It's, it's still not 100% because, oh my gosh, you know, my lighting won't allow me to be great right now. But yo, these glitters are so pretty. So, so pretty. Dang. <laughs> I wish you guys could see them how I see them. They're so pretty. So those are some more of the shimmers. I would say the shimmers in this palette are more like satins. So it seems like most of your bling is going to come from the glitters. But the shimmers are really nicely pigmented, as you can see. Very nicely pigmented. Oh my goodness. So pretty. So yeah, I feel like this palette has some potential as well. You guys let me know um, if you were getting uh, Kathleen Light So Jaded vibes from this palette as well. Because I know I definitely was. Okay, you guys. So next I have this Delancey nocturne eyeshadow palette and i bought this palette a long time ago also and just <laughs> never used it and it is a really really pretty cute palette this palette currently retails for $13.99 on amazon there's a mirror in here it's a pretty good mirror too this one has a really nice mirror in it and this is what 
she looks like. So I think kind of with this palette, because there's so many similar reddy orange type shades, and then you have the pop of blue and green, and the rest is kind of like glitter. That's probably why I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Because, you know, it just doesn't really draw me in. But there are 25 shadows in here. You can do really pretty basic everyday looks. A nice sunset type look. Even a semi-rainbow look. And then you have some glitters over here. I'm not going to swatch those glitters. Because <laughs> I already had a tough time getting those other glitters off my arms. So let me go ahead and just swatch some of these shadows for you guys. And since there's so many mattes in here, I'm just starting out with matte shades. Although I think that bluey purple is, I don't know, it's kind of like one of those in-between shadows where it's not quite a matte and not quite a satin. Nicely pigmented though. Yeah, very much like satins but still very, very pretty. That turquoise is gorgeous. That gold leaves a little bit to be desired, but the orange is pretty as well. And lastly, let me swatch this black just so I can see what's cracking with that. <laughs> well, it looks pretty pigmented on my finger. Okay, yeah. That's a, it's a halfway decent black. Halfway decent black, not too bad. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. Like I said, she is $13.99 currently on Amazon. And I think I'm gonna have to try her out. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, I have here this Spotlight Palette from You Can Be. Look at this packaging, you guys. Isn't that so fierce? That is so pretty. I love it. And I love how they kept the back of the palette clean. It's just so, so nice. I like this packaging. And then here on the spine, it has the name of the palette and everything. So you can see it if you have it standing up on a shelf. So I think that is very cool. But this is a 40 shadow palette, okay? And right now, this one is retailing for $15.99. Now, there is no mirror in this palette, so if you care about that, that sucks. But mine did get a little bit dinged up in transit. <laughs> Honestly, the way that they delivered these palettes to me, I expected them all to be just busted the house, okay? Because they, I hate when I get a palette delivered to me in an envelope. It just immediately you know, sends my heart racing because when they're in an envelope, you know, the mail carriers and delivery people have a tendency to just throw stuff and you know what I mean? So yeah, they were in envelopes and so I was freaking out, but this is the only one that had a casualty. So this shadow up here was completely busted. So I had to kind of try and repress it with some alcohol. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but you know, I can't really complain with that being the only one. This one got a little dinged up as well. But other than that, the rest of the shadows were in pretty good condition. So no complaints about that. But as you guys can see, this palette is like mad colorful, okay? Super colorful, super bright. And I just had to try it out. Had to try it out because it's so stinking pretty. So let's go ahead and swatch some shimmers. It seems like a lot of these brands are trying to do those like holographic shimmers and stuff. So when you swatch them, it doesn't really reflect how the shadow truly looks because, you know, they're all trying to be holographic. But those swatch pretty decent. Not too bad. So those are a few more. They definitely look more like satins, even kind of borderline between satins and mattes, especially that blue. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they're kind of 
trying to do some of those kind of color shifting or psychedelic type shimmers in this palette and they're trying i don't necessarily know that they're succeeding <laughs> but you know they are pretty just not as vibrant as i would hope that they would be coming from a palette this colorful okay i'm just gonna do a couple of mattes since i'm running out of arm space hmm, okay yeah, I could definitely see they're, you know, a little bit powdery, but it looks like they have some potential. Let me see if I can build up that purple. Yeah, that built up a little bit in the blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I see it now. I see the vision now. It's all coming together. <laughs> it's all coming together now. Yeah. Okay. Potential. There's potential here with this palette. I was a little worried there for a second, but yeah, this palette definitely has some potential. If you look at these swatches, yeah, she's got some potential. So this is the You Can Be Spotlight palette. So yeah, I just wanted to sit down with you guys, swatch some of these Amazon palettes, check them out, and just kind of decide which one I want to use first. So right now, out of the swatches that I did tonight, I think it's going to be out of these two palettes. This one here, which is the pie filling palette. What is it called? Fruit pie filling palette from You Can Be or the Spotlight palette <laughs> from You Can Be, I think one of these is going to get used first it might be this one actually but yeah so i had a lot of fun swatching playing in color playing in makeup like a big kid and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me don't forget to hit like okay because it helps me out a lot and if you are not subscribed and you like hanging out with your girl go ahead and subscribe hit that button and check me out ring the bell <laughs> So you can hang out with me every single time I upload. So thanks so much, you guys, for hanging out for this swatch party. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles.